do those too. It's going to be little little tight ass shorts this mm-hmm. year and like a hoodie. And that's, a hoodie. The, that's the style right now. That I, I had someone that actually has to follow the trend. It okay. is the shorter the shorts. There we go. Basically looking like a preppy schoolboy is the look. That's it. Oh. Baby. I'm going to be a 36 year old <laughs> schoolboy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 93rd episode of the 30s podcast. My name is Clint. My name is Uncle Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You changed it up. So changed we did the up. intro now twice. Yeah, it's the second intro. The first time you felt pretty good about yourself. I did. You called yourself intelligent. <laughs> and Caesar killed it by saying, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's it's like, okay. nope, I don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> They're not going to trust you in the first few <laughs> seconds. You're already lying about yourself. <laughs> Speaking of untrustworthy, producer Caesar is here. Hi. Untrustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Episode 93. He's here at 93. Yeah, Whoa. Almost 100. The big one, Hundy. Damn, we're almost there. Yeah. So close. The the drunk episode. The drunk episode. I'm going to have to break my, my sobriety. For so how's that, that been? It's been good. So Dude. we'll do. We'll start with updates. Yeah. Housekeeping. I want to start doing a housekeeping at the start of the show just updates what's up with me what's up with you mm-hmm. what's up with the show and i don't did i talk about it last week no off mic i did right yeah how i i'm not drinking right now which um, is shocking just shocking and it's been great still haven't done it um the last time i did was when i went to the comedy store <laughs> and then i just i think i i wasn't hung over necessarily the next day but I just I didn't really feel good, and I think I'm developing an allergy to alcohol. Yeah, because I I had um, what's it called here? Not heartburn. Is that heartburn where it's like here? It's like maybe, from your yeah. throat into your is this your esophagus? Heartburn or acid reflux or oh, something? Maybe acid reflux. But I noticed that had been happening a lot after I've been drinking, and um, to where like it hurts to drink water. Water? Yeah, it's yeah, uncomfortable it's... to drink water. And so I was just like, I think I'm done. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's obviously it's the alcohol. But I think I'm done. And then like, you know, my family doesn't have the best track record with yeah. alcohol. You know, they're drunks. So yeah, I think I'm just done. So I decided, and that was, I think two weeks ago yesterday. It was, that was the day Then I was like, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And so it's been two weeks. Nice. And it's been great. Nice. And I haven't felt the temptation at all. <clears throat> Oh, good. Which is nice. That was the thing I would... I mean, I've done it before. We've done Sober yeah. October before, and it was fine. Because what's usually the the temptation? Just It's just part of your Habit, routine? I think, yeah, yeah. Part of the routine. Especially after work, since I work mm-hmm. a very... I, I figured it out the other day, because a work day for me, like including commute, is at least a 10-hour day. And so if you allocate eight hours of sleep onto that, that's 18 hours, which leaves mm-hmm. only six hours left of your day that I have available on day that I work, which is not a lot. Yeah. Not a lot of your day. So it's just, the, the drink is just kind of nice to, you know, kind of just chill. Yeah. Um, anyway, what was the point of that? And I, yeah. I just, it was habit or routine. Mm-hmm. And so um, I just stopped doing it and it's been good. It's been good. The temptation has not been there. And I feel like obviously the sleep has been amazing. Yeah. That's probably the best thing, but just like I'm doing so much more every day. I started doing this thing. There's this hypnotist. Her name is Mary Lou Rodriguez, Hmm. and I'm not into like hypno shit, but she has this thing where she's like write out a checklist every day, like any you can put one thing on it, but just write Mm -hmm. write out what you have to do every day. And I've been doing that. So what I do every day is I I get a checklist, and the first two things are always the same on the checklist. Number one is uh, take your vitamins. Mm. Uh, Well, I have. The, like the the AG1 stuff, I take that every day. Yeah. And then my other vitamins are for my hair. So like those are the first two things that I take every day. Our first two things on the list. It's like easy. There you have a list already started. Yeah. And then you just start like adding on to it as you go. So like for me, it's like 20 push-ups go on there too. So 20 push-ups a day. Um, so my list today, for example, those those three things. And then I had to do laundry today. So like I put laundry on the That's list. That's a good one. Um, what else is put on the list today? I put, I wanted to, well, I had to, we have to, I had to produce a show today. So I did mm-hmm. all, I did this today, that one on the list. 
Um, I d- I've been doing 20 minutes of voiceover lessons because not I think it, if it's too much, it gets daunting. Yeah. If it's too little, it's like whatever, dude. So I put 20 minutes of voiceover today on the list. Um, I've been doing Duolingo like on oh, and off for what for like a year Japanese. Oh, Japanese. Yeah, but oh, like yeah. if you don't do it for three days, it like gaslights you. Oh yeah, it yeah. Does. It, it gaslights you after you don't do it for like a yeah, day. Yeah, it's like, um, did you forget? Yeah, and like oh. Duolingo. Look, yeah, stop coming at me. <laughs> you're on, you're my app. Uh, I'm not your employee. <laughs> you're my app. <laughs> So I put that on the list now too. Like, just do like five minutes of dual, yeah. Because then it'll make it'll shut up once you like get in there and do one lesson. So that goes on the list. So, and so like mm. etc. And then once you like you do one, you just cross it out. So then like at the end of the day, like today my list is already done. Yeah. Right. And we're kind of at the end of the day already, but um. So like you have like a crossed out list at the end of the day, and so you feel some kind of accomplishment. That, that, that you, feels awesome. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. I got through something today. Yeah. And um. Yeah, I've been doing that every day. That's good, and so I think that's also helping me, like, stay away from the booze because, like, I I really don't like I know I'm not going to be sober because mm-hmm. I still enjoy a drink. Like, yeah, I, and I want to like I want to go. My friends are drinkers too, mm-hmm. and like I have friends that are sober as well. But I also like I would enjoy having a glass of wine at a dinner. Yeah, you know, so I'm still going to do it occasionally, but no, like, like it, the idea is so unappealing now to just. Drink for no reason, yeah. and I, it's nice that like a flip, uh, a switch flipped for me when I just like made that affirmation of like I'm done because mm-hmm. I don't need this. Yeah, and um, because like on Saturday I'm, uh, I'm going to the Renaissance Fair. I'll talk about that later. <clears throat> but like sure. we're doing this pub crawl thing. So oh, at the fair, the fair. Yeah, oh. so I'm gonna have to at least I'm gonna treat it like a tasting. And yeah, like taste it and then just hand it off to somebody yeah. else. But so I'm gonna have to consume alcohol then. So like I'm not. I I don't want to be like sober. Mm-hmm. I don't want that lifestyle. But and that's okay. You, you could just mentally. You're like a medieval Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, and you're just tasting it. It's right. not not to indulge. And then I'll yell at some big titted lady with her wench outfit. Like you call this mead? <laughs> it's a swine piss. I don't know. Swine piss. It belongs in the privy, not in a cup. <laughs> Could someone record that when you do it? Okay. We'll see. I don't want to be mean to them. Have your friends do B-roll? Yeah. Think your not, friends I, would do B-roll for you? I don't think they know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> this group doesn't know anything about entertainment or production, oh, so I don't think they would know what that means. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the checklist things have been, has been really great, and you know, it's been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, the like like now, when you mention like when you mention not drinking and sleep. Because mm-hmm. I've been just hearing everything about how drinking messes up your sleep and that sleep is key. Mm-hmm. Sleep is like the primo primo thing you could ever do. Now, like the like, like the worst thing I could possibly do just because I know how I'm going to look and how I'm going to feel yeah. is drinking and not getting sleep before I have to work. Or Especially at, all. at and doing anything. Yeah. Because drinking... Staying out late, and then not getting mm-hmm. sleep, I'm going to blow off at somebody when I'm sober. Yeah. It's just going to happen. I'm going to be agitated. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be so agitated. Because I was thinking about sobriety more and, and reading about how like like the algorithms are right. and thinking, oh, well, I got to <clears throat> take some time off my phone. Mm-hmm. And then, because drinking will do that too, where it's like, if I drink... Then I'm gonna to want to be on my phone, and then you doom scroll. You start scrolling. And you just doom scroll forever. And you start DMing. And you DM, and, and you're you like, texting. "Oh, good for you!" Like that's what I'll do. I'll like yeah. applause people <laughs> <laughs> on the stories. So I'm yeah. like, they posted it Looking for, for a some reason. kind of engagement. Yeah. So yeah. like, oh, good for you, girl that I won't ever see in real life. Mm. But, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, you have 1.5 million followers each. They'll see this. They'll see this. Yeah. She'll notice. The me. sleep thing is this is what you're saying is because I've been drinking a gallon of water a day for a very long time, right? And when if I'm like passed out from drinking, I don't wake up to pee in the middle of the mm-hmm. night. The last couple of weeks, I've gotten up two to three times a night mm-hmm. to go pee. And like so I'm waking up and then but when I go wake up in the morning, I'm like, I don't feel tired. Even yeah. I woke up like that yeah. many times asleep. It's like I went right back to yeah. bed when I went. Dude, sleep. I went to bed at 10 last night, <clears throat> and then I, I had that happen where 
no alcohol, went to bed at 10. And then I woke up a couple of times to pee because I also was drinking a whole lot of water. And then I wake up at the right time and I feel totally good. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it was alcohol, it'd be like, maybe I would pretend in my head that, oh, I slept. But right. you feel it. You feel the, the lack sleep. of it. Bad sleep. It's real bad sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, especially teaching or just customer service. Serving mm -hmm. like you can't. You just can't be too agitated because whatever other people are going to do is going to get you agitated stone cold sober. True. So it's like you got to like mount up against what you know is going to come, mm -hmm. which is paraphrasing Marcus Aurelius. Oh. That was definitely not the quote. <laughs> <laughs> what was the quote? Or what are you trying to say? Because um, I think at the beginning of meditations, he says, I accept that people, basically that, that people out there will act however they want. Mm -hmm. And that they won't, they don't comprehend good and evil, but I can comprehend good and evil. So mm -hmm. because I can, then it's my job to not let them bug me and to stay, well, they're stoic. So you stay stoic right. and grounded, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Cause that's honestly what it's going to be. Cause someone's going to cut you off. <laughs> someone's going to say something they Just shouldn't. Just let it go. Just let it, like, it's going to happen. Yeah. And to know they're like, <laughs> oh. I saw that because then it's like you're watching a show. You're watching your daily daily show mm -hmm. of just existing in life. And it's like, oh, they look ridiculous. Which is also why it's funny to sit around and people watch because uh -huh. you'll see them be crazy. Yeah. You'll see them say something stupid to a server. You'll see them act like, <laughs> like you really don't know that people are watching you. Right. Like, come on. Yeah. 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 So just stoic -y. But it helps, but so many things take away from me even be being ready to deal with other people, yeah, which is not getting sleep usually mm -hmm. and then eating eating junk that too I've been good on the eating as well yeah. i didn't did I say I was on a diet last week maybe what what's your diet now? Well, it was the starvation diet where I just didn't eat for how long I was hungry like it, <laughs> it was it was like until so because I work a morning job anyway, it's kind of hard to eat. In the morning, because mm -hmm. you like wake up, go to work, and then you're working on your feet all day. So the 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 diet I was doing was just um, just not eating until I, like like later in the day, and then just yeah. not eating a whole lot, and then just sleeping it off. Dang! But it was just, and that wasn't I wasn't bad. Like I wasn't negatively affected by that in any way, except that I just like food. Mm -hmm. so I was like, you know, I would like a piece of chicken at 12 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon if I want. I don't care how starving I am. So now it's just like eat less and just eat healthier. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, and definitely the eat less thing. Cause like, I'll be like, Oh, I'm hungry. It's like, but I'm not. I'm just yeah. like, I'm just, I, I'm like doing so. Uh, Cause now I'm like today I was at home and I was writing all this stuff up. I'm like, I actually get a snack. And then I went down to get a snack, and I was like, well, I can't find anything. I'll just go back upstairs to do my stuff. It's like, yeah, you're not hungry. You're yeah. just you're just trying to fill the space. Yeah, it's like, it's just the boredom. But boredom I wasn't even munchies. bored, though. But I, I was just like, I should be eating. I haven't eaten in a while. I should probably get something to eat. But I wasn't feeling like the hunger pains. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the diet thing, it's just, and then with the alcohol, too. Like, I always like to eat when I'm drunk. Yeah, too, and food tastes good. It's like, now that's buzzed. gone, and... And going to bed early is always nice because it's like I've been going to bed hungry too because it's just like just go to sleep it'll be gone in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah, yesterday was the latest I went to bed in a while in the last couple of weeks, and it went I went to bed at like nine thirty yesterday, mm -hmm. which was the latest. And I don't know, it's it's just been it's great. Yeah. Stop drinking. We should all stop drinking. Let's do it. Yeah, you don't going, have to be <laughs> you don't have to be sober. He's going. You're going to a wedding. That, but, that's different. It's just a day. <laughs> oh yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's an exception. <clears throat> it doesn't count. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't count. And you have an Airbnb, so I'm sure everyone there will be. In It'll the, be okay. In that, but I'm also mode. like looking forward to not drinking very much. Yeah, because I do want to just see what happens. Oh, um, you want, you want <laughs> material? Yeah, I want material. Yeah. That's it too. If you drink too much, how are you ever going to remember what's going on? True. You're not going to have material. True. Yeah, just soak it up. Soak it up, people. Mm -hmm. Speaking of soaking. Mm. Um, this is, I want to talk about this last week, but we didn't get to it, but 
tax season is over, so yeah. Um, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, because it's, it's only going to get worse. Ugh. Years is going to get worse. Is it? I think so. It, everything uh, gets so expensive. Yeah, this is ridiculous. There's no sign of it getting cheaper. Yeah. Why? Why can't inflation not deflate? I think we've talked I, about it, but why? I don't know. I don't know the reasons why. And then the people older than us are just like, oh, well, my house is worth this much, and my do 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 is worth this much yeah. now. Oh, because you lucked out and you lived in the right time period. I get it. Right. So I need to become a well, time did traveler. did they luck out, though, because they're old and stupid. So. Yeah, during this time, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're literally, they're were like... They, <laughs> they, this is like, stuff's expensive, yeah, but this is probably the greatest time of, of history to be alive, yeah. I feel like. We can do whatever we want, essentially, yeah. and no one's going to say so, shit. Yeah, because like, like people our parents' age... We can do this. We can like, we do talk, this. put it online. No one's going to bust down the door and kill us, hopefully. But like, it's, this really is like the greatest time to be alive as much as there are things that are happening yeah. in the world and our parents are just like meh, 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 meh. Are you about just everything like, after they've are, they've looked out like i yeah, think they're like they're looking at it like pretty max. easy like and you, it's still kind of easy you had your own trials and i get it yeah you know but it compared to like i don't know i don't want to compare things cuz it's not it's just fair, not the same it's, it's not, not fair. the same yeah. yeah it's not the same so but just like i would not want to be older now and just not pro- like process how things work yeah you know, or just like not understand how to read media as like that's, that's clearly fake. not real and yeah. that it's always been fake yeah you're watching like the news and you're like you know that's a headline yeah that's not what like that's not the truth of what's yeah. happening this news network is also the same people that own bugs bunny <laughs> It's the <laughs> it's entertainment. It's entertainment. Like, good God. Um, yeah. So in that sense, I'm glad that I wouldn't want to be older right now. No, and I also wouldn't want to be younger because they must be frustrated too. They're like, I yeah. just don't. Uh, those darn they them's. It's just like they it, can't. Is that really it. important? It's, it's like, like no. And how many are you going to meet? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh <laughs> my! That's like the biggest thing that I have with. Okay. So my parents. I only have one, but mm-hmm. it's like. Gets all riled up about stuff like that. I'm like, how many have you ever met? And he's like, but still. And you're like, in your little bubble of this suburb white suburbia, you're not gonna meet a they them. You're yeah. barely gonna meet a black. Like you, you're you don't exist in this culture that you're so like eh, about. And so why does yeah. it matter to you? And then think about how much you have to prep to just talk to him. Compare that to like you how much prep, he you have thinks. To, you have to filter out like, okay, filter, I can't yeah. say this because they won't. Oh, I guess prep is right. Yeah. I can't say this because it's going to trigger. I can't say yeah. that. It's going to trigger. I can't say that because they won't even comprehend that. Yeah. I can't say this because they have no sense of humor. Yeah. I can't say this because like you can't roast them because they're just like, yeah. hey. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> It's like, how which, are you? Which is technically, it's technically, yeah. dad, I do more work talking to you than you yes. ever will a trans person. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, the ducks are winning, right? Oh, sorry, the Kings. The Kings are doing great. <laughs> he's a different team. <laughs> no, he's a Kings fan. He doesn't oh. like the ducks, but oh. just like, ah, oh, it must be. I, I can't. As frustrating as it is for us, yeah, to have to think about how frustrating it is for them. What must it be like in their head? <laughs> it's just like yeah i know it's just, it's just it's a, oh it's a struggle <sighs> it's a struggle because then i think and then i think for me i'm like i hope someone doesn't have to prep before they talk to me that is the worry i hope that i am just a free board i mean i feel like the podcast kind of helps with that but like well the gen z talk last week didn't help where i'm like i don't <laughs> What? What was it? I know. What was the one with the, the green line? Oh, the, green FN. Yeah. Are you like, huh? No, I know. I, I'm <laughs> or just the, like, I guess I'll. It's the name of our episode last week. Was it Tukey? Skibbity Toilet Skibbity. Riz. Yeah. Did, did you see what that was? Have you actually watched that? That's so no. disturbing looking. Oh my god! So should we change the title? I oh no, it. it's not like bad. It's just disturbing looking. It's, oh, it's, in that episode. it's just hard to look at. Yeah. It's, <laughs> what is it? It's like the head popping the out of a skibbity to- toilet. Oh. Yeah. Like a PS2 oh. sim head. Popping out of a toilet and just singing a song. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, it's it, traumatizing, I think. Is it like early, what's that website? Like 4chan kind of stuff? Or maybe. Yeah. It's like just, just like awkward and disturbing to look at. Okay. You've seen that like Shrek is life thing. That's oh. like that. Like that okay. Kind of okay. That yeah. Kind of, okay. Kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Well, that stuff can be charming. Uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, I, but that stuff like that, where it's like, uh, what is the appeal of this? And then you think like, so look what a, like when our parents were kids and their parents were watching them, they're like, like the Beatles come out or something. Mm-hmm. Like, what is the appeal of this? And you're like, well, that transcends. Like that's yeah, still, like that'll stick forever. Yeah, that is still like Skippy Toilet is just, I guess, their modern meme. That's not going to transcend. It's, the it's Beatles not. will transcend for generations. Like music in the late sixties and the seventies, yeah. when like rock and roll showed up, is going to transcend forever. Yeah. Skippy Riz, whatever, dude, is not going to yeah. transcend. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a prediction. We're going to call wrong. it Skippy. What's it? it? Skippy Toilet. Skip it. <laughs> Skippy Toilet. There's no Riz. We added that right. No, it's, no. We're Skibbity gonna... Toilet is not going to transcend for generations generations. If yeah. it will, it would be like in the, the black pit of the internet where people are like, oh, remember this thing from 2022, 20, And they'd be like, yeah, I remember that. Remember <laughs> when we had jobs? Oh, yeah. And now that this is online, it will be after today, mm-hmm. this clip might come up in like 50 years and like, see, this guy was telling, he was speaking some knowledge he right knew. now. <laughs> he knew. It was like a transcend. So you know how like our parents are at an age, they'll be like looking at clips of you saying that again. Yeah. They'll be like, we knew. <laughs> we knew the whole time. <sighs> how do we get to this? Tax season. Yeah, taxes are over. <laughs> They're a scam. <laughs> taxes are a scam. If we need it. Yeah. Tax season. Oh, Anywho, so I, I talked about Renaissance Fair a second ago, but I'm going this weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and film some I, I, mean, I say that but i probably won't take pictures Ilya. i'll take pictures are you dressing up i am oh i am can you guess i i, I can't i'm um, going to be dressed as a jester oh a good, fool. look at you be a fool being a fool playing um, the fool playing the fool but more for comedic things i love it that's great um yeah i'm gonna dress up go to the renaissance fair i've been one time when i was a very very young child i remember nothing about it mm-hmm. other than i bought an ocarina Oh, and I was like, oh, Zelda, yeah. Ocarina of Time. And they were like, all right, so they got me an Ocarina. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I, I looked at some YouTube videos today, and it looks kind of lame. Mm. But um, everyone said it's fun. Everyone I've talked to said it's a lot of fun that's been before. And they're like, just, just be a fool. Yeah, be a fool. And everyone leans into it there. Yeah. And you've got a good so, group with you? Yeah. Right? Decent. Decent. They don't listen well, to this. Wow. <laughs> they don't listen to this. Um, <laughs> they don't thanks, listen guys. to this. <laughs> thanks. Um, yeah, it, it, I, I mean, they're, they're fine. Like, they're mm-hmm. not like... <laughs> I'm not going to not have a good time with them. Um, but it's not like my main group, you know? Oh, okay. So, um, I don't know what to expect. But mm. it'll be fun. Right. Hopefully. We're your main group right here? Yeah, this is the... <gasps> Aww. <laughs> And they weren't invited. <laughs> oh, I couldn't go anyways. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you weren't invited. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I'm, like, I was guessing, like, is this medieval, medieval times, but like a whole, like, fairground? Right? Yeah. And I guess that's not what it's like. Medieval times, like a big. Pro- Have you been to medieval times? No, but I, I know it. It's like a big production. Yeah, and it's like a the, the gestures red versus the, the blue, yeah, jousting thing. And I guess there's shows at this too. But I'm gonna buy a prop to bring in that I can show you guys. I don't know what Ooh. it will be, like a flail or something. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's like homemade stuff too, like soaps and candles and shit. Ooh, I don't know what they're gonna smell like? Smell like turkey or something? I don't know. Oh, turkey legs? Yeah. I don't, what would? <laughs> what fragrance would you get at the Renaissance Fair for? A nice, a nice ham candle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it smells like meat. It's my meat candle. Uh, someone likes it. <laughs> this yeah. is my meat <laughs> candle. <laughs> you walk into someone's home like, mm, honey roasted. Ooh, <laughs> that gets me in the mood. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> How could it? Mm, ham. Anyway, uh, I love the smell of swine. Swine. Oh, you swine. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. You, you've never been, right? Renaissance Fair? No. The closest, I guess, would be the Scottish Scots Fest. Oh, what's that? That's what all the Scottish get together around Memorial Day weekend in Costa Mesa. Mesa. Oh, Costa Mesa. Uh, <laughs> Costa Mesa. That's where they do. It's the Scottish games. <laughs> so all the Scots get together in Costa Mesa. In Costa Mesa. <laughs> You know, land of the whites. I wouldn't think that'd be a big Scottish area, but I guess it is. They got enough, you know. Oh. 
I don't think there. Scott's in California at all, but I guess they're here. Or here and there. They're everywhere. Yeah, I mean, they used to work the... Well, I mean, they... Like, my grandpa immigrated here when yours did? Um, yours was... The 60s? Yeah. Well, yeah, the 60s. That was the Canada. Bro, yours was from Canada. Yeah. They went from the UK to Canada, and then Canada to Long Beach. Yeah. And that was in the 60s. Yeah, because like Long Beach, my grandparents moved to Downey. Oh, yeah, so like yeah. close. Yeah, so I guess kind of, kind of, I guess. Mm. It's interesting that it keeps going because then they do the Scottish games where they, they throw like the big cabers, which is the big... Uh, sausage. Sausage. It's the, mm-hmm. the big light pole things. Oh. It's the giant light pole and they just flip it and see how far they can go. Giant light pole? It's like a yeah, big log? like those big brown logs. That's just, it's Did huge. you do it? I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> That's what well, I've never tried either. Right. Love, that'd be a great segment Did your dad to go do it? try to. Well, he played the bagpipes. Oh, that's right. But we into the games. That. Okay. And they have pipe bands too. Uh huh. Going around and they have food. What's the food like? Um, I mean, like fair food, oh. kind of. You could eat some. Like hot dogs. Some uh, like hot dog. Well, shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. That that's the bomb there. Mm-hmm. Shepherd's pie and some. Good shepherd's pie, by the way. Ooh, hello. I'll bring that in for episode 100. No, that'd be good. Oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> Martinis and shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> so when my mom makes it, she just does like a full tray, and I could eat oh. the whole full tray. Yeah, that's why you don't make a full tray. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta limit I learned that the hard way. I do oh, have God. these. I make like the little one, like personal size ones. Oh, so good. Otherwise, it's like. Oh, yeah. I will eat it all. Good shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. There's a, there's a, a pub. There's a pub in um, Fashion Island. Mm. of like pub style place yeah. that supposedly has very good shepherd's pie and fish and Ooh. chips. I say oh. we should go. Let's do it. Go tomorrow. I'm going to a wedding tomorrow. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you still uh, go. <laughs> alone? <laughs> to the wedding with me. No. <laughs> I'll take one shepherd's pie and one fish and chip. Alone. You weren't invited? Just kidding. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but that sounds good. Yeah, so oh, yeah, back to the, the Scots. Um, Scots? Did you get like a, a sausage? Blood sausage? Oh, blood pudding. Oh, you get blood pudding there. Mm-hmm. Some blood sausage. Because yeah. I guess my black thing. Black pudding. Black pudding. Yeah, black yeah. pudding. Black pudding. Blood sausage. Blood black sausage. Pudding. Black pudding. Yeah. Keep it keep Ugh. it right. So my, because my thing that I bought when I was there as a kid was like a Lord of the Rings, like pocket knife. Okay. That was, because that, because I was into that where you were like into Zelda. So they would have like those kind of things yeah. there too to buy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are coming to theaters again. Yeah. Cause they're like, extended what made edition. money ever? But the extended edition. So Good. it's going to be a four hour movie. So we're going to, are you going to go? <sighs> Depends. If they, if there's, if there's a theater that offers an intermission, maybe. Yeah. Cause, cause like the extended hours. cut, have you watched the extended cut? Um, I've seen the extended cut of, um, the first one, Fellowship yeah. of the Ring, and I watched it at home. This was recently, yeah, like a few months ago, yeah. And it took me like all day, yeah. But I just, it's like four. It was over four hours, but I was just like, okay, I can't, I can't, I because I've already seen the movie, right? Mm-hmm. I know it's gonna happen. I can't be in this like for so long. Yeah, I have to like pause it and go like, eh, like, blah, 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 <laughs> like do something. All right, let's go back to Frodo. Let's go back to okay, Frodo. Another 45 minutes. All right, pause. Like, <laughs> yeah, clean something. Go do something. Another 45. Like, you know, it's like it's a yeah, whole thing. I think if it's in the theater, the weird part about the extended cut is that somehow the movies were already long, yeah. but they somehow cut out like key moments right. that make the movies make more sense. Didn't, we oh yeah, those books are so big, but didn't the like big books of the three movies, the extended editions, doesn't that equal like a, the stuff that's cut out? Yeah. Like another movie. Yeah. And they're like the key moments that now rewatching it. Cause as a kid, I was, I, even as a kid, I was like, why is Boromir here now? Like what, what happened there? Cause there's something oh, yeah. miss. There's something missing to where like Boromir just as an example is like, Oh, I'm going to go this way. And then it leads to, him to like sacrifice himself mm. but i'm like how come they couldn't keep that but then they have all these other things in the movie they had a lot to cut are, they had a lot to get through it's probably hard and i mean i like those movies so there's no real part where i'm like this is boring 
That's what sucks about it. Is that there's no part where, like, okay, I can go check my phone right now. Yeah. Oh, there's you have not, to watch all yeah, of it. Yeah. Because you'll is, miss good. something. It's a good movie. But also, yeah. you're like, there's 24 hours in a day. Like I said, broke it down. <laughs> eight of it's sleeping. If I'm working with another, <laughs> I, I, my six hours left of the day, four of them are going to be a movie. Four are for Frodo. <laughs> yeah. You're like, dude. Um, so that's probably the only hesitation is just like, mm-hmm. if they offer an intermission, yeah. if you watch it like in a theater in Hollywood, they probably would do that. Yeah. I mean, I'd maybe I go do that. Cause last time I watched it was with some of my brothers and like that, that makes sense. Cause it's like, you have them to talk to the whole time during I'll, the movie. Yeah. Well, oh. cause you're watching it at home. Oh yes. Yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. max the, or whatever. You're in the theater. <laughs> Theater. Why is he doing that? Look at him go through that <laughs> Didn't way. Didn't we talk about when we in theater? You're like, you're like, it's okay to talk, <laughs> yeah. right? Oh, we like, watched. Uh, no. Dune. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> like this is fine. We're the only ones here. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah. That's about it. Just critique everything the whole mm-hmm. time. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say something bad. <laughs> um. Anything else about the Renaissance Fair? I guess that would be me. No. Yeah. I mean, that'd be. Cool, you, sh- you should. <laughs> Asking yourself out yeah. loud. Anything yeah. else going on? Caesar, do you remember how we weren't invited? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I remember. Mm. Clearly, yeah. clearly. Whoa. Did you go? Have you ever been, Caesar? To the Renaissance Fair? No, yeah. I would love to go if my friend invited me. Okay. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Maybe Not next year I'll get invited. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe someone, someone from your, you. your closest group. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, check your close groups. <laughs> um, your closest friends. And we talked about how like, you ever notice people... On Instagram, they'll add you to your the close the friends. Close friends. Yeah, you're like, you're like well, I haven't seen you in twelve years. And also, I do why that. I do that. <laughs> you do that? I do that. I add you people. add them? Are we part Cause of that? Because then, then you are you know you would know if you were. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> you <would> know. <laughs> I just posted a ton of shit about you guys. Uh, <laughs> it's like these. <laughs> he's doing it like these <laughs> assholes. Right. He's live streaming to his close friends. <laughs> <laughs> this Scottish white. <laughs> Ambiguous but, checkered uh, shirt idiot. This, this brown I, the way I look at it is if you put them in your close friends to make them a close friend. Oh. Oh. If they're like, oh, he considered me a close friend, I'm going to consider him a close friend. And then bam. Now so, you're a close friend. so should I reach out to these people that add me to their you close sh- friends? You should add them to your close friends. And maybe they oh. still think of you as like, because hmm. they, they have to go out of their way to add you to that list, right? I, I haven't done it to anyone. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I know you don't have a close friends list. <laughs> Well, when it came up, because my it's just for the stories, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine are not like private. Like I don't want anyone else to see this kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. They're yeah. all just memes and stuff. So I, I didn't think to go like, okay, he can watch it. He can't watch it. He can watch it. She can't watch. It. I was just <laughs> like, okay, well, to me, this means nothing. No, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. me too. But I like, think if the there was somebody time, that say like you, you're like I post nudes on there. So or ludes, that. yes, but if, ludes. <laughs> if there's someone you're not like, say you're. You don't want someone to know that you're going somewhere, but you're still their friend. Like you wouldn't add them to the list. Mm-hmm. But you know, yeah, it's like I don't know. That'd be the only thing I could think of. Yeah, they'd be like they would text you or be like, "So how was so and so? I wasn't invited. <laughs> was really not fair. I wasn't invited. Wasn't invited. <laughs> wasn't invited. Yeah. Did I mention I wasn't invited? <laughs> um, yeah, why are we talking? Yeah, about that? well, like the close friends thing. I would only. I wouldn't even know who to pay. If I know my mom's gonna give me. Which does she like know what I that won't... is? Yeah, but then I'm like, ah, screw it, whatever. It's something to talk about now. <laughs> <laughs> it's con- that's how I am with posting. I think now it's like, eh, if someone doesn't like it, whatever, okay. whatever, dude. The thing I posted yesterday, like, no one's thinking about you. No one is. Nobody cares. Listeners, no one is thinking. About you. But it's it's true. But it's the 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 whole thing. The thinking meditations. He says that too. Where he's like, why do we care so much about what other people think? They don't care. They don't. They're only thinking about themselves too. Right. They're doing the same thing that we are. Same exact thing. It's just like, ah, oh, just break from it. <laughs> just stop. That's why my Instagram, for those of you that follow, even though it's just memes, my stories and photos are like whatever I decide to throw up. But yeah, it's all just memes. Which is good. So honestly, that's all I want Instagram to I'm going to start sending you memes then. Because I thought about you today because I have like a... So when I go to send memes, it's like the top for me. I think it's like six or seven people that yeah. I send memes to because all of us are like just send each other like really offensive. Shit. They're like, oh, well, this is funny, but we can't tell anyone like yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. 
And then you were saying last week that your algorithms all like sad stuff or just like it can be just like well whatever you said like not not funny but it's like I'd rather go into it knowing oh Marcus is gonna post funny memes yeah so, so I was I like tap, I'm gonna yeah. get Clint's algorithm to mine where yeah. it's just bullshit I think that's my goal too to where I'm on here just to like <laughs> you know like I'm yeah. not oh, that's mine right now there we all go memes yeah no, no it is too that's why the I, only like there's the occasional post where I'm like uh. And then you you go right by it and you never yeah. like that again. Mm -hmm. And so there's no like introspective in a bad way, like introspective thought of like what did you say last week about like what did you like something about like not being wor worth any? I don't know. Or you said just, something where like just get I just get little a, or something or just get self conscious and then your insecurities because there was there was a point where like the ads were just hitting at my insecurities okay well, literally then, all the ads and it's like how do you stop the ads from coming yeah my ads are for like well a lot of cologne ads which oh unfortunately i don't know how that happened i bought one cologne one time and that's not all i get mm -hmm. i also get uh insoles because i'm old <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> a lot of insole ads <laughs> Geriatric and, uh, braces and stuff because yeah, I'm what's old? this brace? Orthopedic if you shoes. Watched the episode, solo episode, you would have oh, heard about it's in it. A solo episode, jacked off too hard. <laughs> yeah, orthopedic shoes. I get really? the shoe ones a lot for like bad because uh, I have bad knees too. <laughs> it sound like a cat. Is that real? That sounded like a cat. Oh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> broke Caesar. Uh, there's a frog in here. Our kitties. Um, yeah, or my ads are like stuff for my d decaying body. Yeah, I or, mean, well, that's also too because it's like the decaying part. I, I guess that's it. Or it's just like it's okay. It's like like stupid stuff. Like, yeah, look at this like weird phone case. But there whatever. is the power to say irrelevant to the ad. Yeah, because like, you can't. Or so if I've you just quickly go buy it, it yeah. clocks that too. Like he's not interested in this. It's because it it clocks the time you you spend on it. Right, and that's when I do the oh, what's this? Then it's like, like oh, he's got interested. you. Yeah. <laughs> Have you um, seen uh, the thing where you can filter so you can see less political content on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. And it's can automatically really? like not checked, right? It's automatically checked for you. You okay. can go in there and be like, no, show me all of it. Yeah. Right. Which I don't want that. Yeah. It does so, you what you want. I, right. Some of us, you know, we just make it all the way out of there. I don't want to see anything political. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I get oh. I get nothing How do you do political it? on my feed so unless settings. it makes settings? making fun of it. Yeah, like, I I'll get, want like, to see making fun I'll of I'll get like stuff. Trump like doing DDR or something. <laughs> like I'll get that kind of stuff, but I won't get like any kind of serious speech from either of those two old idiots. Yeah. It's just, it's not part of it. So so I'm going to start flooding okay. your algorithm with And then show me that because there was this. Yeah, content preferences on, on your setting. Yeah. Because it's just going to get worse with the political stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's going to get worse. And what can we, we really do? Old people too. Can way we do, do that? that? You can do words, hidden words and phrases, right? And if it has it in the caption, it won't show it as a post. Born oh my before gosh. 1970. So I don't just want to see anything the phrase me. back in my day, you can yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that when before it was even a thing. If you block certain people, like at the beginning, I blocked Miley Cyrus. Oh, and wow. then when I heard that Fat Jewish was reposting memes, I like that weren't his. I blocked him. This was like the beginning oh. of Instagram. Hmm. And uh, yeah, man, you can pretty much make your own little world on there. You don't mm -hmm. have to, wow, you don't have to that's true. Block a lot of conservative memes. <laughs> Whatever it, it takes. I mean, yeah. there's some. The only one that's kind of conservative that I like is the Babylon Bee. I don't think it's conservative though. They're like politically homeless. I think they're it's, politically they're, homeless. They're like well, Babylon Bee. They they lean in a little bit in that direction, but I feel like they're more like make fun of everybody. Yeah, which is like my lane because I, I like Babylon Bee. Same. And um. Yeah, I've all, I've maintained the last like four years maybe of just like I'm politically homeless. None of these parties align with me. They're all yeah. idiots. Um, but Babylon B is a good one. They're funny. Babylon B. Um, anywho, that's that's good. Good yeah. tips. Good, good gonna tips. I'm gonna tips and tricks tips today, man. Tips and tricks. What else we got today? Oh, I want to say. Oh, back to the tax thing. I got money back this year. Yeah. Boom. Celebrate has to do the, with the no drinking thing, right? That's a reward for not drinking. It's a reward, yeah. And getting money. Because mm -hmm. today, today in the mail, I got a check in the mail today mm. from Carnival Cruise Line. That's right, Carnival Cruise Line. Because I was oh. supposed to go on a cruise in 2020. Oh, yeah. And guess what happened in 2020? <laughs> Flovid happened. <laughs> and um, so I remember bleep. See there? Dancer. Uh <clears throat> That happened, and I didn't get to go on that cruise. And so when that initially happened, the cruise was postponed because when as all of us know it was supposed to be two weeks mm -hmm. of no whatever and that turned into a year depending on where you're at yeah 
It was longer for some, shorter for some. So they kept pushing it and pushing it and put like every couple months, like, oh, we're going to push it. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then it, they just stopped with the communication of like, pushing it or getting a refund or anything. And I kind of forgot about it until one of the people in the group I was with was like, whatever happened to that cruise? And I was mm-hmm. like, I don't know. We're probably not getting our money back. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a weird time in the world right now. And just get it. It's a loss, whatever. Today, four years later, this is April 25th. Which actually was around the time. This was around the time everything shut down, right? Mm-hmm. Four years ago. Yeah, well, yeah, it was. It was probably yeah. like this time. I think it was. So it was, it was uh, April thirteenth. There we go. So yeah. a I week, mean, March thirteenth. Oh, yeah, so a March later. 13th. Pretty close. Pretty close. close yeah. Pretty yeah. close. I got a check in the mail today from Carnival Cruise Line for four hundred dollars. What? It was four years later. Four years later, it was for That's that cruise. That's insane. And there was no like note saying like this yeah. is why you're getting this check. It was just um, it was the the check that they cut and then the. The top part of it was like, like routing, like numbers and stuff. But there's oh. no words attached to it or anything, and I was oh. like, "What?" And um, that, and that's obviously because I'm not drinking, right? Cause I'm, that's I'm, it. I'm getting rewarded, yeah, right? Karma. The yeah. rewards are coming back to me. The tax money is yeah. coming back, and I'm getting paid by Carnival Cruise Line. You tapped into the great, the great power that creativity comes from. Yeah, wow. money. It's giving back money. It's giving, me money. It's giving back money. <laughs> so I got some money that's back how today. It works. And I'll be taking that bank, that check to the bank tomorrow because I go to the bank tomorrow. That's crazy. Yeah. Four years later. Yeah, four years later. And not a single word. No, yeah. no, uh, no follow-up email saying, like, hey, it's been canceled. Like, we're gonna pay you back at some date. It's like know? they waited till they it, could make money again. Well, or, or got I, I don't again. even know if they're still I'm sure they're still in business, but I don't know if like somebody sued them or what. Oh, maybe. Because I but I also did not get like a class action lawsuit thing in the mail, so I don't know. But mm. there was no like there was no offer of like a credit. You know, a lot of times instead of a refund, like these places will give you a credit instead yeah. for like a future yeah. cruise. I had to do that for a, for a year. We were going to do our anniversary show for my other main podcast, mm-hmm. Rodriguez Show. And we had like the best lineup we ever had. And then it was on that April. It was supposed to be like yeah. April 20 something. Oh. So we had to cancel it. And then we had a bunch of people that had bought tickets. And I had to like a year later, I just refunded everybody because I was like, we're yeah, still in this mess. Not, yeah. 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 <laughs> Who knows when it's going to happen? Yeah. Good God. Yeah, and they gave me my money back today. And that was just a, a nice, happy surprise when I strolled out to the mailbox yeah. this afternoon. Nice. Um, in the gray, cold weather, because also we're in that time of the year where it's just like a f-ing cock tease for summer weather. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Beautiful 80 degree weekend, and then we're back to cold gray. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We're wearing these f-ing Sherpa jackets. Hiding. Disgusting. Hate it. <laughs> it's trash, dude. It's worse. So annoying. I hate this time of the year. Hate it. Because we get teased for summer. Yeah. We get teased for summer. It'll be like a day where I'm like, okay, I could go outside. Yeah, I'm wearing shorts today. I can do this. In a short sleeve shirt. And the very next day, it's not even like a gradual into cold back into hot. It's just, we're cold again. Like, fuck you, California, even though you're awesome. We love you. Yeah, I love you. (laughs) I heard this summer is supposed to be the hottest on record. Is it though? But I feel like we hear that every couple of years. That's every time, yeah. Yeah. Hot like sexy. Ooh, maybe that. Well, that depends on you, Caesar. Start ooh. doing your squats, I have. Yeah. Oh, the squats? Yes. Get that, squ- get that Ohio gap. I am laying down as we record this right <laughs> now. He's, <laughs> he's still talking to his closest hey, he's, friends. He's planking right now. That's what he's doing, okay? <laughs> it's for the odds. Don't sell yourself short. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's supposed to be the hottest on record, apparently. I don't know. Bring it on. But that's okay. A little booty shorts this summer. Oh, that's, you and booty shorts? That's going to be the summer look this year. Booty for shorts. Me. Little, well, maybe not like ass shorts, but okay. like, like, yeah, like yeah. I like those little short shorts sometimes. I could do those, yeah. Can, yeah, you can do those too. It's going to be little little tight ass shorts this mm-hmm. year and like a hoodie. And that's, a hoodie. The, that's the style right now. That I had someone that actually has to follow the trend. It okay. is the shorter the shorts. There we go. Basically looking like a preppy schoolboy is a look. That's it, oh. baby. I'm going to be a 36-year-old <laughs> schoolboy. <laughs> Watch. You're laughing, I'm doing my, no, I'm doing my squats. Uh, that's, that's on my list is the yeah. squats with the push-ups. Juicy ass coming. That's right. Come juicy. <laughs> be a, Hella a big juicy. fat ass this summer. You're going to see it on this show. I'm going to show yeah. you guys. <laughs> yeah. I got brown in my, my blood. Yeah. You got fat asses. We're going to be watch, looking at Marcus going up the stairs like, damn. <laughs> Damn, look at that get. 
we, we, when we came up the stairs right now, he was like trying to talk to me, and I started running up the stairs. I'm like, Clint, legs, come on, let's go. I'm like, okay, look at this guy. That's what that noise was. <laughs> yeah, I was running, and then we got, oh, that was my oh. ass clapping <laughs> together up those stairs. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're like what Donnie horse? What like, horse is like, Whoa. <laughs> He's like, do you guys feel that earthquake? <laughs> oh, that's my cheeks slapping together, Caesar. Thank you. Oh, I got a bakery back here. A bakery. <laughs> <laughs> you just been working on butt jokes for the past week. No. This is all off the top of my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not drinking. Back. It's the not drinking. It's the not drinking. Off the top of your head or the back of your ass. <laughs> the creative juices are flowing off of my crack right now. Let's we'll start at first the top of his head or the back of his ass. The chicken or the We'll egg. start with the back. <laughs> so God said we'll start with the back. <laughs> God took his time with Marcus. And <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't need to work on the head yet. <laughs> He has his priorities, that's why. We'll fill it in later. <laughs> he forgot. It's a work in progress. Some people get great bodies, some people get great personalities. <laughs> All right, enough of the giggles, you guys. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Giggle train right now. We still have a show to do. We're still going. Oh my god. Um <clears throat> another there's another Poros drop tomorrow. FYI. Ooh. You wanna grab a bottle? Oh. And, and just an look at it because we're not drinking. No, it's online. We'll just <laughs> if you want to grab buy a bottle, it. I'll buy yourself. it to have. I'm probably like going to gonna buy another that one bottle. just to have. Because mm-hmm. um, two of them, I ended up. Well, I'm still drinking. I drank two of them, but I still have one. But I'm going to planning to use that for the show. Oh, so I'm. Oh, for I, the hundredth episode. Yeah, so oh, be I, cool. I'm going to grab another bottle tomorrow. It's at 9 a.m. Set your alarm. Oh, okay. I'll if be you, you want to get one for yourself, yeah. Um, and that's at the website. What else? Um, I only have one other thing. Oh, I have two things. So um, I've started making music playlists um, on Spotify. Mm-hmm. So as you know, I listen to a lot of music, and just like that's like another way to be creative. I think I, I yeah. like to share my I, I like to share my music with people because every so every so often, not that often, um, people ask me about what to listen to for music and stuff. Yeah, because when I, the, I feel like I have a pretty eclectic taste in music, I kind of really? like yeah, I like a lot mm-hmm. of everything. And I do like making playlists for people, but half the time they don't listen to them or they're oh. just like, it's like not appreciated. So, but I started making them for my cell phone in, on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll share them with you. Yeah, guys I, you I listen to that. I feel like I get lazy with doing the day list ones. Yeah, you got to I gotta make like, your own. Clicking a couple buttons. <laughs> the, well, the day list, have you done day list? Yeah, where you just look up day list and it gives you a new playlist every couple of days. Yeah, well, because it, it bases off what you normally listen to at yeah. that hour. Mm. Well, anyway, I worked on one today called I, I named it Summer Dreaming. That's a name in progress. Um, but it's the description is just twenty twenty four summer dream vibes. But it's Ooh. like it's like dreamy summer pop yeah. kind of stuff. So that's nice. it was a lot of fun. I worked on it a little bit today. I'm gonna work on it some more tomorrow. But I have currently nineteen songs in there, but nice. I'll share that with you guys. But I'm gonna try and start doing that more often and then just share them. Maybe I can put them I could probably attach them to our Instagram page, yeah, and like a link tree or something, yeah. Um, and then just I'll do like a post and just be like, "Hey, Marcus's list is up for the month or something." Mm-hmm. Yeah, easy. Yeah, be sick. Um, I think it'll be cool. I, I, I like I got a lot of music. <clears throat> I love music, and um, it's a fun creative thing for me to do. Yeah. And one other thing, I might start doing stuff at the Groundlings. What are you gonna do? Take classes? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, nice. Get yeah, it, girl. Just like a, Where's it out of? In LA? Yeah, but there's some like preliminary stuff you can do at home. Oh, can you? Yeah, and it's like 50 oh. bucks. Oh, yeah. Like, teach you like basic stuff. Yeah. It's like a, a dipping your toe in kind of thing and see if it's mm-hmm. right for you or not. So I think I might start doing that because I have a coworker who used to do acting and she stopped for like personal reasons and yeah. then she started doing it again recently and she was like, hey, you're kind of like into... Like entertainment and stuff too, right? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I started acting again. She's like doing these classes, and like she got all her her headshots done, and she's got like she's like doing stuff. She was like, you should just like do these things. I think it'll yeah. be good to like for your creativity or whatever to just like try stuff. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't fit, like just try different things. 
And I, I, I don't, obviously I love stand up, but I don't know if that's like my avenue. Cause I can be funny. I can be funny. Yeah. But I don't know, like I can be funny. Right now. <clears throat> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like creating a, ru- a stand up routine, I don't know like if that's, if I can do that. Yeah. But I think I could probably do something sketchy. Yeah. Cause I, Definitely something sketchy. Definitely yeah, sketchy. That's right. Sketchy. <laughs> you see this ass? <laughs> <laughs> this, Where did that come from? This gap. But oh. I, because I, I felt like that too. Because like, like doing stand up, it's cool. But then there's like parts where it's like, ah, oh, this is hard to get to. Like, like the, oh, I'm like, this is my best quality, right? You know, because like with stand up, sometimes I feel like it's more of a test of how well I can write, and then how well I can know a random group of people to get mm-hmm. them to laugh. Mm-hmm. But Watching, I watched uh, Conan O'Brien's new travel show, and because like Conan, he kind of he's one where he's done sort of all sorts of comedy now, mm-hmm. where he started off writing on The Simpsons, then SNL, then hosted the Tonight shows, and now he does his podcast. But like when he's out with like people in these different countries, I'm like, well, I'd want to do that because that looks fun. Because mm-hmm. you're being funny on the spot with random people and you're literally like providing this weird service because what he's what he did in the show is he had people that he talked to on his podcast and then he surprises them in their country Uh which is kind of crazy so like you're on zoom with conan one day and then he's over there in scandinavia at your door which is kind of seems kind of crazy but i think it's just so cool how he embraces the culture but it's like also to know oh you could be funny in all different kinds of ways. And there's not just like one set way to do it. Mm-hmm. Cause then some people I'm like, Oh, your podcast is way better than yeah. your stand up, or you or hosting an award show. Somehow you're better at that than anyone else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You used to find your thing. Yeah. And there's, there's so many, but then you think, Oh, I have to do it this one way. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of why I looked into it. And based on what this person said, and also to like, at work, like I am the funny guy. Yeah. Like that's been said to me many times. I'm like, so I am, I can do funny like in the moment yeah. with people. I'm good at like quipping. Like, yeah. Like, 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 t- like today, anytime we do this, but it's yeah. about like taking that and then showing it to as many people as you can somehow. Right. Right. And I, I'm good at like playing off people that may not be funny. Yeah. And that's, know? that, that's really be improv because then, but a then group you make of them people, laugh too. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, yeah, Groundlings thing. Groundlings might happen. The only problem is like it is expensive. It gets expensive, bit, and then yeah. all the driving. If I have to go out to wherever Hollywood, and Hollywood's like I don't like Hollywood. It just takes a while, and it's hard to park. Yeah, it's hard to park. It's cost, it costs money to go there, and it's just not what it used to be down there. It's all yeah. If you're down on Sunset, it's like or Hollywood Boulevard, you're like ugh. Yeah, it's gross. It's, like, this is, it's not what it used to be out there, yeah. folks, if you're not from LA. It's brutal. So I got nothing else this week. I've got a little bit on X-Men 97, but it's mostly from last week. But Did nothing, you catch really up, Caesar? No, I'm still I'm still behind. You can oh, spoil it, though. It's fine. Nothing like that spoilery that I didn't spoil yeah. already for mm-hmm. you. But again, it's just my only criticism still remains is that there's just like, whoop. Like shooting through this. Yeah, they're going through stuff. But there probably won't yeah. be a season two. So. Oh, yeah, I think there will. I said won't. Oh, won't? Well, that guy is They gone. are doing they season fired two. the guy. I mean, people? they can get another guy. Yeah, they'll just I replace him. Not. But it'll be a different show? I don't know, whatever. It a little bit. It doesn't matter. We'll see. Um, it was good. The last last week's episode was, it was funny. Death Bird. Mm-hmm. That was funny. Yeah. Milky Way Ghetto. <laughs> you just said that. I like, <laughs> Milky Way Ghetto. <laughs> Milky Way Ghetto. <laughs> was a big word of the 90s remember Jeez. ghetto guys oh yeah that's ghetto um, it's supposed to be in 1997 mm-hmm. remember the 90s guys mm-hmm. this last episode that one dude that showed up at the end bastion i don't know who i i know nothing about him sebastian shaw it's not sebastian shaw this who? guy's name is bastion but like i don't oh bast is it bastion or bastion whatever but like i really don't know anything about him oh oh yeah so you did watch this week's yeah i watched it yeah and i don't what happened in this one I already forgot. Other than the end, I didn't know well, Magneto was, was dead. It was a big well, reveal. I guess he's not dead. I guess technically, I didn't, didn't know that he was dead before. I didn't know that he was supposed to be dead. I think if I rewatch it, I don't think we saw his body. But yeah, I don't. Also, don't think anyone said he was 
dead. It wasn't like made yeah. clear. But, like Gambit's clearly dead. But Gambit's dead. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, I I just thought he was like still alive somewhere. I thought so too. That was a good reveal. Yeah, that was a good one. Where I'm like, oh, okay. Well, when Why? they revealed him has alive, I was like, oh, I didn't know that he had died. Yeah, I forgot about. Um. Yeah, I think Apocalypse is going to show up though. Apocalypse. Yeah. Because oh, well, one last week. But at the end, they're like when he's in the does the school thing, mm-hmm. Professor X, and then you see his gambit like as death. He comes back as oh. death. So, oh, so then Gambit could come back as a horseman. Well, he comes back. He does come back as death. Like that's when Apocalypse he does. comes. He's oh. the horseman death, and then they showed him like as a skeleton and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, okay, that's right. Um, and then I think I feel like Apocalypse is gonna come back. Though. Yeah, I don't really know though. Um. This is all from last week. But I like that Storm got her OG costume back. Oh, Storm's the best. She's back being a badass bitch. Good, as she should be. That was one of the worst parts about the first two episodes when uh, they depowered her. I know, it was so hard to watch. It's like, why? Well, it's, don't do this. Yeah, well, why? Don't let do her, the Storm. Let her be the best someone again. stupid like Morph. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about him. <laughs> yeah, but that's the point. Because <laughs> we care about You're going to take one of your strongest X Men and one of your like most over the top <clears throat> characters and center in some cabin with some guy. Spoilers. Spoilers. And just like. <sighs> but she came back, which is cool. Um, yeah, I've got nothing else. And then Deadpool Wolverine looks good. Oh, yeah. That the trailer was great. Yeah. That'll be fun. They say a lot. They want you to know, guys, that it, they're going to say. Yeah, and they can't is. do coke. Yeah, you can't do they coke. Can't do that, mm-hmm. but they can say. F- they want you to know they're going to say. F- yes, they will. I'm happy. That about makes that. things yeah. edgy. I like how it's a dead, dead Ant Man, little base that they're in. Oh, uh, I saw that. I guess to be, that's to be from honest, the. I didn't watch it that closely. It's from the old Logan comic, I uh, guess. Old Man Logan. Yeah, I didn't really watch it. Too. I watched it, but it was kind of just like because right, they had a lot of the. It. Old X Men movie villains in it. Okay, like Lady they did? Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Toad, Lady Deathstrike, Pyro. They showed all this in the trailer. Yeah, it's a quick. What trailer right, did I watch? I don't know. The new one it just came out. They showed the all these one. characters in that trailer. Yeah, yeah. But they blur. They they go through it kind of quick. You'd have to pause it. They're not. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't pause it. Because you see the Azazel guy, the red red what? Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler's dad. I gotta watch this again. They're like all just right there in front of the the Ant Man. I just skeleton. remember a lot of people saying f over and over. And there's again. a lot of that, yeah. We're gonna f- do this. Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice as much details as Clint. I well, you said you it. have to pause it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do that. That one, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll watch it again. But it'll be fun. Be a good time. We'll see. You shall see. What if it sucks? Then it's the end of Marvel movies. <laughs> it really <tonight>. is. <laughs> then that'll be the if, end. If that's one, the one that gets claimed. Okay, you heard it here, guys. If, if, if that one sucks, if that one sucks. That'll get you. It's all just stop. I think for everybody, honestly, okay. I feel the same way. Okay. Yeah. This is the last right. chance. <laughs> oh really? Okay. It. This is about it. Well, I guess I did. There was kind of that feeling of it all hanging on this one because <laughs> yeah. they have nothing else coming, right? Yeah. This is if this does bad, they're like, all right, guys. I think they're just uh, what's over. Right. We're gonna do uh, the Flintstones or something. <laughs> They're like they're gonna do a boomerang shared universe. <laughs> yeah, they're just like I guess Flintstones, we'll, Jetsons. Jetsons. They're all part of it. They're just gonna Hanna Barbera. Boom, boomerang totally <laughs> take a left turn. Yeah, and just be Penelope like pit stop. <laughs> 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 they all cross over in their own Avengers. <laughs> like, that might be kind of cool. What know. is happening? Um, we'll stop it there at Penelope pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for being here, guys. This was the fun one. Yeah. The fun one music playlist, Renaissance fairs, Milky Way ghettos, a housekeeping. Good, a lot of good tips. A lot of good tips. No, to no do drinking. Don't drink, guys. Don't drink. Or cut back. Cut back. Drink whatever you want. Get good sleep. Get good sleep. Go and stare sleep. at the sun if you're a Huberman guy. Yes, Huberman. Oh, speaking of that, I moved my desk in my room to my window uh-huh. so that I can sit in the sun. Good. Because I get really good sun in my window. In, oh, yeah. Like the, the first part of the day. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and it's been very cool. Yeah, I try to do a morning walk. Mm. That really helps. Yeah. Because also, Those rays. I feel like it, it's the rays, but then it also like turns on my senses because mm-hmm. like somehow I can just smell things better. Oh, what do you smell? After a walk. You just notice everything. You smell your roommate? Yeah. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> it's everywhere. Why does it smell like gargonzola in here? Oh. 
<laughs> that. You're awake. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, and on that, Caesar. Where can we smell you at? Mm. Uh, I am Caesar Rod is my personal Instagram. I'll add you to my close friends if you send me a oh, DM. Our nude. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ooh. At the I'll Rodriguez send one show. Tonight, Caesar. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Carla and Caesar's Wonder Life on YouTube. Decade Dialogue on YouTube. And Rodriguez Podcast. If I'm going to make a podcast for you. He's working. I'm working. Get it, girl. At the underscore Clint show. It's making stuff. Doing it all. Let's Uncle two underscores Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle two underscores Marcus. A 30s pod and everything. Thank you, guys. We'll Later. see you in the future. Godspeed. Godspeed. You can cut that part. <laughs> <laughs>